a short video to show you how easy it is to analyze raw visitor data from Sitecore and Tableau. What you're looking at here is, a, uh, is the final output, is a sample dashboard report that I prepared earlier. And now I'm going to walk you through the steps that it takes to actually create this from scratch. Um, so why don't we start with um, sessions by month, this chart here. Okay. I'll show you how to create this from scratch. We'll start fresh, empty workspace, create a new worksheet. On the left hand side I have all the different dimensions and measures that are available to me through the Sitecore SQL database. I've hidden all the ones that I haven't used in any of the reports. So that's why you see a fairly short list here. Okay. Now what we need to create the sessions per month chart, we need the actual session ID as a distinct count combined with a timestamp. Both of the information comes from the session table in the analytics database. Once I've selected them, I just click on show me. Um, uh, Tableau suggests the best way of uh, visualizing this information, so I'm just going to click the bar chart. But I don't want to just look at this data 2009-2010 in an aggregate format. I want to look at it by month, so I'm just going to select a different way. There you go. And I've recreated the chart in a few seconds. And I can see the, the sessions that are developed by month. Now let's keep in mind this is only demo data. This is why there's a few gaps in the month in between here. Let's have a look at another report. Um, people always like maps. So um, this is a map of sessions by longitude and latitude. Longitude and latitude has been created, uh, I believe, from the IP address. Okay, So let's recreate this report from scratch. Create a new worksheet, blank worksheet here. What we need is the longitude and latitude data. This is already included in the Sitecore uh, database in the IP address table. And we want to see where the global session ID, so the visitors, actual visitors, are uh, coming from. Again, after I selected that, I click on Show Me. I get the map option as soon as I have longitude and latitude. I click on that. It already plots um, the data on a map. Okay. Now, the size, I don't want to be controlled by the visitor data. I actually want to have that controlled by the amount of sessions these people have. Um, executed in those locations. So I'm just going to drag the session ID into the size um, field and it automatically adjusts the size of the of the um, uh, bubble to the amount of sessions. I can change that and move the slider here, make the um, charts bigger. And I can also zoom into a particular area if I want to and Tableau computes that. Yeah. Um, these the maps are um, pulled from the Tableau server, but I also have the option to um, pull in different background maps through a custom WMS server. Okay. Now, once I've created um, all these different reports, and I've, I've pre-created a couple of different reports here um, that you guys will be able to have a look at uh, online uh, through our um, Tableau dashboard server. Um, but once you've created all these different separate reports, it's fairly easy to pull these together as a dashboard and then either publish the combined reports through a dashboard or the separate reports that I just showed you. Okay, so now how easy it is to create a new dashboard is you just click on New Dashboard and on the left-hand side, you have a selection of all the separate reports that you've pulled together before. So the only thing you then have to do is actually um, click on the report and the dashboard is uh, the report is added to the dashboard, and you can just keep clicking and adding more reports. And once you're done, you just select server, publish the workbook, you send it off to your server, and other people can consume the information there. That's it. Thanks, guys.